Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot. I hope everybody is doing well today. Welcome to the channel. Um, we're going to do the daily message today for September the 29th. Keep in mind, timing and energy is fluid. Not every reading is going to be for you, so please only take what resonates and leave behind the rest. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And let's jump right in and see what kind of message needs to come through for the collective today. What energies and messages need to come through today, September 29th. <laughs> what kind of energies do we need to be aware of when it comes to the energies today? Somebody here is being very complacent. I think there is an energy of being watched over in the energies today. We do have guardian angels. We have complacency. We also have accountability, dark night of the soul, and vision. So I do believe somebody is kind of in some very dark, uncomfortable energies with this dark night of the soul. I feel a lot of divine protection, really encouraging somebody here to move forward with confidence, knowing that you're never ever truly alone. There's this complacent energy, this very stagnant energy, and it is a result of, ta of not taking action towards what it is you've been divinely guided towards. And I think there's a need to really embrace whatever situation is at hand and to really let go and surrender, to release any fear-based energies. Somebody here is really needing to take some accountability, I feel. And that is all part of the healing journey. I feel somebody here is really being invited to really have that long, hard look in the mirror, to really take total ownership of everything that's transpired in their life without filter, without blame, and without judgment in order to step into that future timeline. There's somebody here that's been in a deep, dark energy, a very uncomfortable evaluation of their life, perhaps their purpose, and, and a deep evaluation of past relationship issues, I think. A lot is being unveiled in the energies today. There are a lot of spiritual messages coming forward, visions, prophetic dreams, signs, synchronicities. So you're really needing to pay attention to the messages that the divine is bringing forward when it comes to breaking free from this stagnancy and taking total ownership and accountability for your life, for your journey. And I think there's a big lesson here being learned about reciprocity. The law of reciprocity is at play today in the energies. And there is great reward coming for those that have embraced that healthy exchange with others. I think somebody here is learning a very powerful lesson when it comes to equal give and take. Um, so let's go a little bit further and see what other energies need to come through for this message today. What else do we need to be aware of? When it comes to this message today, door to romance flipped out in reverse. I feel a major heart chakra blockage. And we do have a woman holding a coin, which is feeling very earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have a woman holding a heart. I think somebody might be stuck in a very complacent energy stemming around a false foundation that's been purely um, about finances. I just saw another card flip out. Give me a second, guys. All right, caring connection. So that is all about that reciprocity, that equal give and take. We also have a woman with a heart. We did get the doorway to romance with the queen of pentacles kind of energy, woman holding a kind, queen of pentacles. And then we got the queen of cups is what I'm feeling with the woman holding a heart with this caring connection. We also have the fourth chakra energy, which is that heart energy I was feeling. So that's just a confirmation with this Jesus consciousness. I think somebody's been in a very uncomfortable evaluation. I'm feeling very stuck and complacent in a connection with a feminine that's purely based on financial security. I don't think there's any love there. I feel a blocked heart energy there. And then on the flip side, we have this beautiful woman holding her heart, opening her heart way to receiving this reciprocity when it comes to a caring connection. 
And then we have this beautiful healer of the ages, this Jesus energy, this Jesus consciousness, really opening up the heart chakra. And we, we do have, I feel, a masculine here that's in this energy of indecision at this crossroads, really needing to choose. And I feel the choices between a heart-centered relationship or a financial financially secure relationship. Somebody here is really needing to take accountability and step into this heart chakra healing to be able to decide. I feel what goes around comes around. I do feel a very envious and jealous energy, I feel, around this woman holding a heart. So let's see what some of the supporting energies are when it comes to this message. And third eye just flipped out. So somebody is receiving... Um, some third eye visions, third eye activations, quite possibly in dream space, which really is pushing for a sense of balance to be restored. So what else do we need to know about this message today, please? Supporting energies. Hope. I feel a lot of illumination. I feel somebody really trying to find their hope and their drive for life again while in this very dark evaluation of the dark night of the soul. There is going to be a new prosperous beginning here, and I feel a connection where the roots run very, very deep. I feel somebody has planted a seed a very long time ago, and this truly is about equal give and take. Look at the two hands together. There is a deep connection here, and I feel somebody has been in this martyrdom energy, this self-sacrificing energy, really needing to break free, really needing to find their hope again um, when it comes to taking that step into that future timeline. I feel a lot of indecision. I feel the past is coming back around for a second evaluation for somebody to really be invited into taking that total ownership and that accountability for perhaps maybe choosing the beaten pathway um, in the past. And there's been a lot of juggling, a lot of indecision. But I do feel some clarity is coming through when it comes to an abundant new beginning and there's, there's these deep, deep roots. I'm also feeling this energy of harvest time. So I think the, to the time is now for this unveiling to take place in order for um, some progression within a connection. So let's see what other energies need to come through with the tarot when it comes to this message today. What else do we need to be aware of in these energies? What else do we need to be aware of? Two of Pentacles, that juggling. Juggling when it comes to that new beginning. Where am I going to, you know, put my time and efforts into? I think get ready because somebody has been um, juggling a new beginning, a clean slate, a fresh start. I feel somebody is in this death energy, this dark night of the soul energy, been in this very complacent stagnancy. And somebody here is definitely having an awakening moment. I feel the universe is kind of calling judgment. And it's time for somebody to come out of the dark and perhaps come forward with that truth, that accountability. We have the Knight of the Knight of Swords or the Prince of Swords with the King of Swords. So I feel this rushed forward energy. I feel strong Libra and Aquarius. And then we have this earth energy. I feel somebody really has been contemplating coming forward with that communication. Perhaps there's fear stemming around coming forward and speaking this truth. Maybe cutting out stuff that really is based in those lower ego, lustful, materialistic desires. And I feel there's a masculine here that really is needing to restore a sense of balance in his life. And I feel judgment energy. And I do feel it is stemming around third-party energy. I feel there was a lot of heartbreak in the past. And somebody has been in this very uncomfortable evaluation of some poor decisions. I think somebody made a very poor judgment call in the past. And there's a lot of truth washing over somebody who's really needing to step into taking accountability. I think get ready for somebody to rush in and um, communicate this with you. I feel there has been a level of indecision. Somebody is getting ready to experience a major realignment on their journey when it comes to the past and stepping into the future. So what else do we need to know, please, about this energy today? 
What else do we need to be aware of when it comes to this energy today? Four of Wands. There is a solid committed partnership at play here. And there is somebody that really is needing to drop their defenses. I think somebody's been very closed off, not wanting to see the truth. And I think really holding back a lot of communication, trying to hold on to their finances. I think somebody very well could be struggling um, financially and likely this is due to that inconsistency that lack of commitment needing to make a decision you could be dealing with a Leo but I do feel a solid committed partnership is at play and there is a need to heal and to take accountability there is a need to go deep within this healing energy especially when it comes to a very inconsistent masculine that I feel might have been playing two sides of the fence here and healing is needed um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius but I do feel um, this energy of being naked with this truth really going through a deep level of grieving when it comes to a, a past indecision perhaps not taking action when being guided to so let's see what's hidden below the surface somebody here is walking away i feel somebody here has been very lonely very depressed very complacent and and really needing to find their courage to find their confidence to start a brand new cycle there is an ending of a long-standing commitment that I feel is with this uh, woman holding a coin. I feel maybe there's been some manipulation when it comes to finances. Um, somebody really playing on somebody's emotions and heartstrings to keep them stuck in a situation where there's just no more growth. There is somebody here getting ready to walk away. I feel a masculine getting ready to walk away from a committed partnership that's just not on the same page anymore perhaps needing to take legal action and somebody here is getting ready to take that fool's journey i think somebody here is feeling very foolish for all of this ind indecision i think somebody here is feeling very envious too when it comes to this woman holding a heart i think she is so grounded i feel this feminine energy really has you know taken accountability for her own healing journey really has done the deep work of going into this healing energy facing her shadow aspects and i feel it's triggering an awakening moment when it comes to a masculine that's really withheld truth communication and there is major karmic judgment being called by the universe in order for this new cycle to begin i feel somebody is feeling like a jokester Perhaps there was a level of um, masking the pain in a relationship. You see all of these spilt cups. There's two cups spilt over and six cups upright. So there is the ending of a false soulmate connection. I feel the possibility for a reunion when it comes to this woman, this woman holding a heart. And I do feel this woman holding a heart truly is the Empress energy, Taurus Libra. There is balance going to be restored. I believe there will be a new opportunity to work together with this beautiful Empress energy. But somebody here has been grieving, I think masking their pains with over drinking and addictions. And this Empress, I feel, is really stepping into some beautiful new caring connections, working together in the community is what I feel. And, and the energy really is pushing for balance. What I love about that is we have the three and the six, which is the nine, which is pre-empress energy. So I feel there's that last pentacle missing when this masculine comes forward and offers that tangible truth and that and that tangible offer after coming out of, out of a level of indecision. That's going to create that tenth pentacle. I think the possibility to, to build a firm foundation after releasing something that I feel really was based on materialism. We have a king of pentacles here that's been all trapped up in a toxic committed partnership. I feel two very unhappy people where maybe all they have left going for them is some financial stability. And I really don't even think there's much there with the four of pentacles. I think there's been a lot of hoarding and a lot of um, deceiving one another. And I think the time is now 
um, for the wheel to spin things forward, for a new foundation to be built. There is victory to be had here if somebody is willing to take that guided action in that new direction. So let's see what a potential overall outcome is when it comes to this message today. I do feel um, somebody is experiencing some major financial hardships. I think there's been a lot of deception surrounding a masculine. I feel this near-death experience and somebody really getting ready to consciously release a very heavy burden. I feel there's been this energy of somebody um, really going into some lack mentality. Perhaps somebody here was ghosted in the past. And then we do have the Emperor with the Ten of Swords and justice so there is a solid committed partnership here there is a true pair on the board but i feel this feminine really has kind of turned her back from this masculine i feel this masculine has been in a lot of very uncomfortable um evaluation dark night of the soul i feel messages are coming from all directions i feel there's a masculine here that betrayed a divine feminine i feel and all stemming around a third party queen of wands energy a very karmic energy i feel um somebody you know was duped by some very lower ego lustful desires and there is a need for apologies to be made there is a need for justice to ensue i feel a lot of balancing in the energies i feel a lot of visions and there is a masculine here that i feel is being deeply haunted by this past betrayal and i feel what goes around comes around and this masculine staying in this stagnant energy this energy of indecision and not making a choice is also a choice i feel the universe is stepping in and calling judgment calling justice in order for the scales to be balanced there was a there was a major imbalance here within a connection and somebody here really has been struggling and I feel has been deeply betrayed both financially and in the heart chakra when it comes to this woman holding a coin. I feel a masculine about to go through a very painful financial crumbling when it comes to a karmic contract, when it comes to a toxic committed partnership, that there was no healthy equal exchange. I feel there's a masculine here that is going after exactly what he deserves. He's coming for his queen. He's coming for that empress. And walking away, I feel really finally ready to walk towards wish fulfillment, to walk towards the spiritual journey after feeling maybe unworthy. I don't think this masculine has a lot of confidence when it comes to coming forward in this truth. I think there is a lot of fear stemming around that energy. But there is a masculine here that really is being pushed by the divine to um, embrace the law of reciprocity in order to balance the scales. And I think there will be a reward of compensation that will come from this healthy truth and this healthy exchange if there is a masculine that is able to, you know, be brave enough to close out this cycle, to make that conscious change, to release this burden that I feel has really weighed heavy. Get ready for some changes. There's a couple of fives here. I think there's a masculine deep within some shadow aspects. I think he's been self-sacrificing himself in a committed partnership that's been very lonely. And there is a need for balance to be restored and for a masculine to take back his personal authority of his life. So let's see a little bit digger, a little dig a little bit deeper into this emperor energy and see what else um, we can find out. There is a masculine getting ready to take back control of his life. I feel he's in this deep hermit reflection. We do have the hermit, the chariot, and the magician. There's a lot of major arcana. The divine really is pushing somebody to take back their power, to stop self-sacrificing in a commitment where there's just no more love, to go towards this energy of unconditional love. And I feel there was a misuse of power in the past. And that really has sparked somebody to go deep within to find their own inner guiding light. The hermit to me holds so much spiritual wisdom. And I feel a masculine here that really has feared stepping into his spiritual calling. Maybe fear of judgment, fear of breaking free from the status quo. I just feel with all of this energy of like, I feel like all eyes are on this masculine. I feel everybody's watching this masculine to see what his next move is. 
And I do feel somebody here is really getting ready to take control of their life, to get in the driver's seat and go in a new direction, to have that victory and success with the Divine Feminine. Somebody really trying to figure out how to manifest coming forward with that apology to bring this justice, to be able to rise on his rightful throne of authority. And I do feel there's somebody here that, you know, was holding on tight to something purely for financial stability, really needing to break free and close out this cycle because there is a deep soulmate connection here. There is going to be the opportunity to start new, clean slate, truthful, honest communication to build a solid foundation together, this power couple. But there's a masculine here, I think, going through a major loss of fortune first when it comes to um, this trapped energy, this stagnancy, really getting ready to take the blindfold off. I feel there's been a lot of tears. There's been a lot of grieving. And there is a cycle closing out so a true soulmate connection can come together. There will be victory and success. I think in the past there was a lot of lies, a lot of secrets, a lot of arguing, a lot of, a lot of conflict and chaos. And the, the time is now for healing. I'm feeling a masculine that is going through a coming to Jesus moment, begging the universe for forgiveness and salvation, getting ready to release all of the snakes in and around him, really going through a period of disillusionment in this dark energy to be able to open up that heart chakra. I think get ready for an outpouring of emotions from a masculine energy here if you are the feminine because somebody is really getting step is getting ready to step into their spiritual wisdom so let's see what other messages need to come through with this energy reading today what else do we need to be aware of power wash your energy i think there is a masculine here going through a deep spiritual cleanse very sensitive to the energies at this at this time and there's a masculine that did get allured um, by some lower vibration energies and a lot of truth and clarity really is coming forward when it comes to a, a new positive pathway opening up i think there's a masculine getting ready to embrace um, some new travelers along his journey, to clear his space and to get back into that sacred energy. I think there's more um, clarity than ever before when it comes to walking the spiritual journey and really releasing all of these lower unwanted vibrations that really has kept somebody in a very stagnant situation. I feel a lot of foresight is being developed. So never ever go um, with you know, what everybody else wants you to do. I think a masculine here really got um, manipulated into some status quo energy, and I feel he's ready to go against the grain. I feel there's a masculine that, you know, lacked that foresight. I think in hindsight, I think he, he did kind of see this coming, but he didn't want to see the truth for what it was. I feel a lot of supernatural and synchronistic events taking place when it comes to somebody breaking free, I think in the past the signs were missed and now this energy is coming in screaming at this masculine. It's time to break free. It's time to shine your light, to release your grip on a foundation that just isn't working. And with the diamond energy, I think there is a solid committed partnership on the way. One that is going to be based in this purest loving energy that you can really bask in the radiance as all of this energy really clears away this lower energy. Somebody really was encrusted in, um, a foundation purely for financial stability and I feel somebody here wants more than just that status in their life they want more than that perhaps um, an engagement a higher level of commitment is coming and you're really needing to be open up to that I think somebody here was very cold and icy and detached and I feel quite possibly a lack of communication and it's time now to set those clear intentions to step into the lighted pathway to come out of the darkness and to own that truth so bottom of the deck how light beautiful calming stone one of my favorite stones actually um so i feel masculine kind of getting ready to organize their life organize their headspace to get really super um focused to kind of use that um positive discernment i think there was a lack of discernment in the past and i think somebody is getting ready to release um, all of this materialistic energy to kind of embrace a more minimal, min, <laughs> minimalist lifestyle, one based out of love. I think there's a masculine here that deeply needs some breathing room as he kind of goes into that deep mirror reflection. 
And I think there's a masculine here definitely getting ready to break free, knowing that less is more, learning a very pow powerful lesson about um, greed is what I feel in the energies today. And that's what I got for the message today, guys. I hope this resonated. If it did and you would like to book a personal reading, you can find all of that information in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.